In this video, you learn what Android system web view issue is, what causes it, and by the end of it, how to fix it. If this helps you in any way, please feel free to like the video. It helps the algorithm find the channel. But if you had any issues, write them down below and I'll get back to you. The Android web view issue is the inability to update the Android web view application via the normal update method, which is the Play Store. When you press the update, you can see nothing happens. Either that or it gets stuck in the update loop. Android WebView is a system component powered by Chrome. It allows for Android apps to display web content without exiting the app. We can see this on Instagram when we open a link. As soon as we click it, we can see a new page opens as a browser, but you can see that it's still run by a Chrome when you click the three dots. We can try other apps too, for example, the YouTube Android app. Once we go to a page and we try to look for a link to click, and you see how it's loaded up. If you give me a second, I could go ahead and find a link for us to click. Mostly it seem to be for YouTube. Oh, we've got a Patreon one. Let me go and click that one. As you can see, it's loading. Again, it's using the Chrome browser to load the links from any third party apps. And you have the same options when you click the three dots. So if this utility is important to you, follow the instructions to fix it. One of the main reasons you might get this error is due to corrupted files in the Play Store. In order to fix this, here's what you need to do. First, go into settings, and then go on apps and notifications, and then open up all apps, and use the search function to look for Android system web view. Once that's open, go to storage and cache, and then click on both clear cache and clear storage. Once you've completed that, you should be able to update the Android system web view. But if it still doesn't update, go to search, and then go into Google Play services. And then we're going to go to storage and cache again. And then we'll clear cache and clear storage. After clearing cache and clearing storage from Google Play services, in most cases, this should fix your issues. Now let's go to Play Store to confirm our update. You can see as soon as we press the update button, the installer begins straight away. But it still takes some bit of time for it to start. This could be due to the screen recording software rather than the issue with the update update issue. So I'm going to go ahead and let us do its thing and give it time. You can confirm that it's updating by pulling out the taskbar and you can see that there's a download in progress. It might take some time for the update to continue, but give it time, it will eventually fully update by itself. So you don't need to do anything. Again, we can check the progress by pulling down the taskbar and see that uh, it gives you a progress bar of how much it's downloaded. So as you can see, it should not, shouldn't take too much longer. Now we can see the download has started. Now this will depend mostly on your download speed rather than your phone speed. So make sure to wait it out again. It shouldn't take too much longer. Um, after that will be the last part, which is the installation process. And this should be a lot quicker than the download process. And complete. Now your Android system web view is fully updated. Something you'll have to keep in mind is this does seem to be a recurring issue with Android. So whenever your Android system web view doesn't update properly, just go and use the same method over again.